keep that for later. You there! I hope you've come to help, because we're getting slaughtered out here. Lubavad sent me after you. Oh, I see. And did he happen to tell you why he packed us a crate of Ridgewood instead of decent ammunition? Three waves of watchers and scrappers so far, and worse to come. Without that ammo, we're good as dead. Lubavad didn't say anything about Ridgewood. He said you left the ammunition behind. Then the old fool has gone cross-eyed. Every crate we loaded, I checked twice. The glyph said ammunition, but when we opened it, it was full of Ridgewood shafts and nothing but. Lubavad sent me because he was concerned for your safety. The only thing that frightens Lubavad is losing an investment. We do the work, he counts profits. I have the ammunition with me. Enough for everyone. By the sun. We might just stand a chance after all. Alarms! Long leg approaching! Two arms! Two arms! So they woke up. Long leg!
You fight well, Outlander. I'm surprised Lubavard was willing to pay for someone of your skill. He didn't pay me, actually. I did this for free. Never trust the Karja merchant. Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Quick learner, eh? Fine. Bring those Songkors back and you've got a deal. These are helpful. Bitter, though. Saving these for the trail. Hello, Dorid. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. I'll tuck that away. Mm, 
The caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. <laughs> Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away m my sins. What a waste. At least he died better than he lived. Never know when I might need these. You're back! And with the sun cores, I see. And Dorid? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. as it comes. Rain's done. Animals will pick up the noise.
The forsaken village that Maria spoke of. It's in shambles. Look out below! Here they come, corrupted watchers. The Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains.
hardy little plant. You'll help.
you. Every vantage a story. Apocashit Storm Tour, Day 8. Holy crap. That glitched out lifter that crushed your arm and clavicle. Back before you met Wyatt. That was in a mind back beyond these falls. Oh, what a punk I was.
Can't be too prepared. Fighting. Has something attacked the Karja fort? A corruptor. These machines are dangerous! This day. It wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. find a use for you. Will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort. 
on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Whoever's in charge here might know if Nakoa came through. But trouble. That's all there is in the lands. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads, they're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell her what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the Matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azaram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Asuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azaram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun, and what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? 
Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the Sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. As for everywhere else, well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zayi can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Wait. Zayid is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. Now, if there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it, and the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I would be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Not what I'm
You're a Zaid. And you're a Nora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here? You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Ad has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. There are no shadows in the noonday sun. Words to live We all have our place in the order of things. Can't trust him. Not after what Yon told me. Priest machines. That garrison is my only lead. Shaman's damn nonsense. It's worse. Machines must have come across Captain Ballon's patrol here. 